Energy powers our society and fuels our lives. It allows us to heat and cool our homes. It drives healthcare systems and food manufacturing. It facilitates global trade and education. The provision of reliable, affordable energy has transformed the welfare of millions of people globally, but we are living beyond our energy means. It has become increasingly clear that we are facing an existential climate challenge. The evidence is unrefutably compelling and we are seeing the effects in our world already. Extreme weather events, species extinction, rising sea levels, the need for change is urgent. And at the same time, our collective demand for energy is unrelenting. Rapidly growing populations, increasing mobility, Industrialization and ever more digital sophistication are driving this demand. The strain we are placing on our planet means we need to do different. Do bigger, bolder, greener. For our world and for how we live. In the future, how can we meet the demand of an energy hungry world in a sustainable and equitable manner? This question has garnered increasingly polarised rhetoric featuring at the centre of political, activist, social, community, public and private debates, never more so than now. The UN has seen this issue important enough to include it in their sustainable development goals. Goal number seven is to ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy for all. At the same time, goal 13 highlights the need to take urgent action to combat climate change as key to sustainable development. Finding solutions to these parallel challenges is mission critical. Standing still is not a viable solution and neither is immediately ceasing all traditional energy production before we have the low carbon and sustainable energy systems that we aspire for. We need to pursue a sustainable transition to a cleaner energy future without leaving anyone behind. This may be the defining challenge of our generation, but there's good news. The solutions exist and more are coming every day. Delivering substantially cleaner energy is achievable. By working together, a sustainable, practical energy transition is possible. To realise this shared imperative, we need to accelerate growth in renewables. We need to reduce the carbon intensity of traditional hydrocarbon production. We need to decarbonise industrial processes and we need to drive efficiency throughout the whole energy value chain. Encouragingly, there are countless examples around the world where these solutions are becoming a reality. If I look to North Africa, at one oil field alone, engineers have eliminated emissions equating to 1% of global flaring. That's 4 million tonnes of carbon per year. In the UK, solutions are being accelerated to capture and store carbon from industrial clusters in Humberside and Teesside, together aiming to prevent more than 22 million tonnes of carbon from being released into the atmosphere each year. In the US, refinery conversions are being implemented to produce more sustainable biodiesel with the potential to more than half carbon emissions compared with conventional fuels. And in Norway, energy giant Equinor is installing an offshore floating wind farm to power offshore oil platforms, targeting the reduction of carbon emissions by the equivalent of around 100,000 cars each year. And also in the Middle East, solar farms are replacing traditional hydrocarbon power sources for industrial applications, providing completely clean power. Add to these examples the generation of sustainable hydrogen to power everything from homes to ferries to mega trucks for mining and it becomes clear that a suite of engineering solutions exist to create the kind of energy we need to fuel how we will live in the future. But that means it's time for polarised extreme views that have dominated the headlines and politics to be replaced with a more collaborative, pragmatic approach to solving the climate crisis. One that delivers a practical energy transition with real solutions to real problems, aligned to time-bound commitments and at pace. 
And in many ways, those who are best placed to drive the transition are the energy providers who know best what it takes to provide energy security for billions of people around the world. Across the energy industry, organisations such as BP, Shell, Adnoc and others are transforming. They are leveraging their rich heritage, infrastructure knowledge and technical DNA to become integrated energy companies. They are delivering a much more balanced portfolio of wind, solar, hydrogen and oil and gas power solutions. Not to mention creating the infrastructure that will enable mass electric and hydrogen vehicle adoption. It is this kind of integrated thinking that will help the world pivot from our dependence on traditional energy sources and move us towards the kind of integrated energy systems that will fuel our future and indeed the way we live. Simplistic siloed solutions will not address the problem. Access to energy goes hand in glove with improving quality of life. Simply turning off oil and gas production would leave billions of people without access to energy and other vital derived products. Instead, we need to ensure that oil and gas can be produced and used with the lowest possible carbon impact, balancing the drive to switch to greener energy production with the risk of doing it too soon. Simply switching to electric vehicles will only transfer the problem without addressing the wider value chain. Instead, we need to ensure sustainable mining and energy production to produce and power the next generation of vehicles. Simply switching to 100% wind or solar power will not provide the energy we need alone and have their own environmental challenges. Instead, we need to create a robust, broad energy portfolio, including this kind of energy, while also developing circular economy solutions to repurpose ageing renewables infrastructure. And above all, securing a transition that ensures the communities, people and the skills curated over decades of hydrocarbon production are leveraged to make our future state possible. It is with that skill set and with the knowledge that we can deliver a fair and equitable energy transition. The stakes are extremely high and the challenge is not only a technical one, but also a political, financial and social one. Energy transition is a systematic issue and it requires a full system solution and sustained collaboration. We need industry to work together, continuing to drive innovative technical solutions for sustainable energy production. We need governments to align ambitions and create the fiscal and legislative frameworks to drive collaborative and responsible behaviours. And we need society to lay aside extreme views and divergent rhetoric, instead converging with ambitions shared on a common goal. So in the future, how will we live? I believe that we will have the energy landscape that we aspire for, where no person or community is left behind. Where clean, affordable, sustainable and secure energy is available to all. Where we meet ever-increasing energy demand in a way that protects our world for the future generations to come. And where we all work together, converging on a common goal to create a brighter future.